Hey guys, Jorge Silvestrini here. Today we're going to talk about Pro Tools 11 and setting up a headphone mix. Um, most of us record uh, sometimes and we have interfaces that have different outputs. Uh, let's say I have a, for example, I have a Sapphire Pro 24 and it has six outputs and I can use outputs 3, 4, 5, and 6 to create uh, different headphone mixes for the musicians. So in this case, what I'm going to do is show you exactly how to do that uh, from a blank session. So let's create our session here. Um, it's going to be a blank session and it's just going to be a headphone uh, tutorial. And I want it on my desktop, so let's press save. And here we go. Here is our regular uh, Pro Tools with nothing on it. So let's create some tracks. Um, I did that quickly by doing Shift, Command, N. That's the shortcut for tracks, for new tracks. So Shift, Command, N. Let's say I want uh, drums, and I'll have four channels for drums. Let's say bass and... Um, a click track let's say that's all I'm doing for now so five channels and mono um, then let's say we're gonna need two auxiliaries in stereo for our headphone mixes and let's already create our stereo master fader okay then these are all of our tracks. Last thing, I'm going to create a click track. I'm going to switch around windows. Um, this is the edit window. I'm going to go to the mix window. The complicated way of doing it, actually, it's going through window and pressing mix. The easy way is through the shortcut, command equal on the Mac. So command equals takes me to this view. Now, in here, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to set up our inputs because we're recording, so those are fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and name some tracks here. Kick, to move to the next track uh, for the name, instead of having to go okay and then double click there, what I'm going to do is press command. Once I'm in the, in the renaming, I'm going to press command and my right or left arrow key will move me from track to track, okay? so. I'm just moving and renaming. Then this will be, let's say, drums, headphone. And then this will be bass, headphones. And I'm going to press OK. Now, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to create our buses. So we need to go into the input of the drum headphone mix. We're going to select one boss. 9 and 10 in this case. I'm going to rename it by right-clicking, pressing rename, and I'm going to tell it drums, headphones. And we're going to do the same now here on the bass headphones. Let's do 11 and 12. Rename, bass, headphones. Okay? So we've got that set up. After we set up our inputs, now we're going to go ahead and set up our outputs. And here is where we talked about um, having an interface with several outputs. In this case, uh, monitor one and two is just gonna be my control room output, okay? So we can just go ahead and rename that as control room. Everything's gonna change. And then we don't want these to be on control room. We want them to be now, let's say on output three and four. We can rename that and put drummer. And then this one on five and six, and we can rename that and call it bass or bassist. Better. Okay. Now we know where these um, headphone mixes are going to go. Okay. So now here comes the fun part. We're going to start assigning what goes into which headphone mix. Let's say, for example, we need the click to go in there. So we're going to come here to our sends, and we're going to send 
the click to the drummer and we're gonna send the click to the bass player a couple of things here that I want to show you on our drums when we're looking at this we got to make sure that this pre fader is on if you don't know what pre and post fader uh, will will do it's very simple and I'm gonna show you it right away if we have it off when we're playing the track and let me start sending some signal over there you see that we're sending signal signals coming in through the click sending it through the drum sending it to the drums uh, output now look what happens as I turn this down because I do not want it in the control room even though the signal still there nothing is going through on our bus the reason why is because the pre fader is off meaning we are cutting the signal with this fader in order for this not to happen pre fader needs to be on and the signal will go here first see now signals going pre faders on signal is going here but I'm not listening to it on the control room but the guys in the headphones they are listening to it okay so let's make sure we have the same thing set up for the bass and now they're both receiving the signal okay um, next thing that we're gonna do is in this case everyone actually wants to hear the drums so I'm gonna go send it to the drums and by pressing option and click dragging we can just copy that over every track okay now the only problem is we copied the wrong thing so now let's just make the right adjustment let's put it at zero let's copy it again I'm just copying everything again so that I get everything as I should okay now be careful when you're copying stuff and I'll show you something here uh, don't do that because that's a loop and you're gonna get feedback in your headphones but just for showing you here what what I'm doing and that's our feedback uh, let me take that off okay if you copy something that's in stereo a, a stereo bus into a mono channel you're only gonna get it on one side look what's gonna happen okay and if you're asking yourself oh I can only hear myself on the left side what's happening it might be that you have the panning wrong okay so just a quick tip there when you're copying make sure that you're copying mono tracks to mono tracks stereo tracks to stereo tracks okay so now we've got the bass to do so let's do bass here same deal pre Let's give him a mix of everything and now our bass player also has everything very cool trick if you hit the command key and you hit your send you're going to get this uh, uh, now this different view which is really cool to mix on the fly and you don't have to be opening each one of them okay and even though you cannot see it I'm pretty sure these are pre are on so this might be a bug already in Pro Tools that we cannot see this display so just in case I know that we had already set them all up as pre and they're not showing here so Avid we have a problem and they'll probably will fix it very soon um, okay guys so on that note this is the end of this very quick tutorial I hope you have enjoyed it I hope it serves you well uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel let me know what else uh, you think I should be doing as far as tutorials what else helps you out um, Pro Tools is my tool of choice for 
recording and mixing. Most uh, studios, both home studios and professional studios use Pro Tools. But I'm also creating tutorials on two other pieces of software that I use. Um, those are Ableton Live 9, which I use for live performing, and Finale 2012, which I use for music copying. So keep it glued here. Uh, shoot me an email at me at jorgesilvestrini.com. Uh, check out the website as well. You can find me on Twitter at jsilvestrini or just keep uh, coming back to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I love to answer any questions. I love to get into a chat with you about what you're doing and your music. So don't be a stranger. Keep around and we'll see you soon in our next tutorial. Bye-bye.